Are you looking for a small desk that's not going to take up valuable workspace and at the same time become a clutter magnet? Well, we have the desk for you. Stay tuned. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where you learn to stream like a pro from technology you should know. And in today's video, we are going to look at the IKEA Mickey White Desk. And not only is my brother Dale going to do an unboxing, but he's also going to do an assembly. Starting out here, we actually have the Mickey desk it's the corner station i found it very reliable it was really nice but as you can kind of tell it is pretty bulky it uh, doesn't cover very much of the cords up and i really just need to kind of declutter things and get something that is much more manageable so uh, i just went ahead and took this whole thing apart it's fairly easy uh, i've actually taken this apart before uh, i really do like this desk so if you're ever in the need for a corner workstation this one is fantastic all right, so the actual Mickey desk itself, this is a lot smaller, obviously about a third of the size. I picked this up over at Ikea for about $90. It wasn't too bad. If you order it on Amazon, it's gonna obviously cost a premium because the uh, shipping is probably accounted into the actual price for it. Uh, this thing was heavy. My wife and I had to carry this together and put it into the car when we went to Ikea and get all the stuff. So. Uh, I would recommend that anytime you get anything from Ikea, especially something of this size, get all of the parts out. So that way you know exactly what you're dealing with. All right, so I cleaned up everything and now I'm just slowly but surely going through some of the instructions for the Mickey desk. Now, there was somebody who had claimed that this desk would take about a half hour to put together. However, I didn't find that to be the case. In fact, you can see that this time lapse, obviously it's going to be a lot shorter. It took me all in all about an hour and a half. Now keep in mind, I did go a little slower to make sure I didn't mess anything up because I've put together some IKEA things before and have skipped over instructions or not paid attention to it and I put them together wrong. So I would just recommend you take your time, do the same. Obviously, if you wanna use this video as a guide, you can always just hit the uh, slow speed uh, icon in the bottom right hand corner here on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, I would recommend that you, you utilize their Allen wrench. The power drill might be a bit of an overkill, but I just wanted to kind of hurry through things and just get it done with. It was getting a little later at night and I didn't think my neighbors would appreciate me making a bunch of noise and banging around on the desk. This is the part that was a little bit more confusing for me, was getting some of these rails on. Make sure that you're installing them correctly, so get everything lined up just as they should. According to IKEA's website, they actually say the Mickey desk is a clean and simple look that fits just about anywhere. You can combine it with other desks or drawer units in the Mickey series to extend your workspace. The clever design at the back hides messy cables. Uh, so this should be noted, and I probably won't show this inside the video, that with the cabinet that's going to be installed on this, you can actually put it on the left or you can do it on the right. They have directions for both. I ended up doing the cabinet on the left, and that's just the standard instructions that they have in there. There is no back component so it's completely out in the open so what I ended up doing was just putting a nice little light felt curtain on the very back of it so it could kind of hide things I didn't want to hide it too much obviously because the other thing is I'm actually storing my Alienware Aurora R7 in there and I don't want it to overheat in fact as I'm recording this I've actually got my cabinet open so that way it doesn't overheat anything in there Walt actually had recommended to me that if I wanted to make sure that the computer wouldn't overheat, I can always keep them closed, but I can install some fans maybe in a panel that I could attach on the very back portion of the desk. So just keep that in mind if you utilize the cabinet for storing your PC. Now you can see what I'm putting together right now is where it's going to organize a power strip or your cords. This has ample room. I've got a ton of cords back there, all pretty much zip tied together so it's all nicely organized and it's not falling out and my feet are having to trip up over it. This is one of the nice features about the IKEA Mickey series that they actually are really good about organizing. The thing I would recommend even further, and this was something that Walt had recommended to me, for organizing cords, 
you can definitely zip tie them together if you wanted to, but it actually is better if you get kind of like a, a sleeve with a zip up on it. And I actually got two sleeves that I ended up attaching to my computer and putting the cords within that. Right here, I'm installing the actual door for the cabinet. That's gonna be the hinges that it's gonna hold on to. Now, we're gonna have a tricky part coming up here pretty soon, and it's gonna go really fast, and I just wanna let you know it's, it's coming up soon, where I'm gonna talk about the drawers. I know that there's been a lot of issues, and a lot of people have problems with putting the drawers in. Trust me, it was a little bit of a headache at first, but it will take a little bit of finagling, but I'll cover that once when we cross that bridge there. So right here, we're putting together the cabinet, slipping it on into place. Now here comes the fun part. It's actually getting the top of the desk put on to the actual base. We've got everything kind of screwed in here. Again, you're gonna see me using my power drill to put it in here. That might be a bit of an overkill, but again, I just kind of wanted to just get through this as quickly as I could. Make sure that you have your grommet put in the right spot, and that's that big hole right in the middle of the actual desk. That's where a lot of your cables are gonna feed through. In uh, one of our previous videos, I actually showed how I installed the flexi mounts, which is a mount for my dual, for both of my monitors, and it keeps everything kind of clutter free on top of this desk because I've got two monitors. It takes up a lot of real estate if I were to just kind of just put them on their regular stand. So the flexi mount actually goes through that grommet. In the video, I actually showed it became a little bit of a hassle because it's clamping down inside the grommet and what ends up happening is the drawer doesn't close all the way. Now, if you don't utilize any kind of mount that's gonna go into the grommet area, that's fine, but keep in mind if you do use mounts for your monitors, there's nothing to clamp onto on the back of your desk in order for it to hold in place. And I would also recommend for how light the actual IKEA desk is, that you have some type of weight holding it down inside the cabinet area and your desk as well because it probably could tip if you just blow on it wrong. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, don't take the chances. For me, I've already got my PC inside the cabinet so it's more than sufficient for weight. So I just slipped in the cabinet drawer. The drawer is fairly difficult to kind of manage to get in there. I probably made it look easier than what it is because we're going in a fast motion here. You're gonna need to angle it downwards into the actual spot and then drop it in. Again, you see me do it again, I angle it in and I drop it in. It's going to probably take a couple times before you get it in there, but trust me, once when you kind of do it once or twice, you'll probably get used to this. You know, you can see I've already done this desk before. So that is pretty much the entire assembly. I really do like this desk and it's perfect for if you're dealing with the small office space or even a small home space for what I'm here, you know, handling. This is where I put my PC, I raise the shelf up and then of course I also store a lot of my electronics over inside the little drawer here and then the larger drawer I actually put my Mac and my wireless keyboard. Also uh, while I'm thinking about it you may want to take a look at the FlexiMounts unboxing assembly. It is perfect with this specific desk. One thing to note, do not put that on right away. What I was putting on is that's the casing for where you're going to end up putting the cables through. For